Welcome back into Main Street Living. Now, guys, spring break is just around the corner. Do you guys have any uh, plans? Nothing for spring break week. Just, um, you know, avoiding some of the crowds. But I think later in April, I'm going to do something. Q, what about you? Yeah, just doing a couple of things with the family. Just finally getting away. Uh, yeah. I thought, my daughter needs it, so. Absolutely. Yeah, we need to oh. get away. Yes, I know. And whether you're planning a road trip for spring break or maybe a summer vacation, we can all use some advice for our next driving adventure. Burton Hughes, the general manager of Subaru of Las Vegas, is here with some road trip tips for the next time you hit the open road. So excited about this because as Quincy knows, I love road trips and now I'm 337,000 miles on my car and counting. It's a lot of miles. <laughs> <laughs> He just laughs at me. So <laughs> tell me this, prepare with share is my motto. So what are some things we should be doing as we prepare for a spring or summer road trip? Well, my daughter just took a road trip uh, recently and she has 252,000 miles on her car. <laughs> wow. And the first thing I said is let's get that car in to have it inspected. You know, a lot of serv service centers will inspect a road trip inspection for free and, you know, go through the vehicle, check your fluids, check your tires, your air pressures. And you know what? What they found on my daughter's car was they were the, the tires actually had some of the dry rot cracking, which is hard to detect. And so we put brand new tires on it before she headed out on the open road. Wow. Well, now, you know, tires are extremely important, especially uh, when the roads are hot. It depends what part of the country you're driving on. So that can cause it to unravel. But are there any other safety precautions that we should keep in mind? Well, uh, you know, you want to make sure that you have a backup plan for if something were to happen on the road. I would recommend having uh, either your inspect your insurance documents to make sure, do you have roadside coverage? Um, I took a trip in, in a motor home and a uh, hundred miles out of town, one of my tires blew unexpectedly Ooh. and I, and I had it all prepared. I knew that I could call my, uh, my insurance company and they sent a, a tow truck out and, and changed the tire. So maybe you have AAA or something like that, but it's important to uh, keep safety, you know, uh, at the top of the mind. If you're going into cold weather, you might even want to have a roadside kit, uh, a first aid kit, things like that. Uh, Absolutely. And we are on the same page here. You should, should see the trunk of my car. I've got all kinds of prep items in there, even a box to help or rescue an animal. So I am all about being prepared. And I remember road trips as a kid. I was one of those kids going, mom, dad, are we there yet? And I probably made them super cranky. So what are your tips for making the road trip more positive for everybody involved? Well, you know, if you're if you're carrying kids or you're carrying maybe some older people, you know, they're going to they're going to want to have some things to do to pass the time. So maybe it's games. Maybe it's a Game Boy. Maybe it's a, you know, a video. Maybe it's an iPad. Uh, you know, make sure that you've got uh, your passengers uh, stocked with snacks, uh, refreshments, water. I, I fill all of the the. Uh, cup holders with bottles of water when I go on a road trip, you know, and, and maybe even keep some extra in the, in the back, you know? Exactly. And then there plan out your bathroom stops too. <laughs> Make sure you know when you're going to stop. <laughs> That's what the extra cups are for, Cheryl. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so Cheryl was talking about, you know, bothering the parents. Are we there? They, are, are we there yet? Are we there yet? But now as a parent, especially as a guy, you know, sometimes we don't want to listen to the passengers. So turn left. Why did you miss the left? Why did you? Why aren't you following the map? Why aren't you doing it? So, <laughs> what's your advice on you know sticking to a map or just kind of just you know just free, just freelance and driving? <laughs> so you know, I think it's important to have a plan, and, and you need to kind of map out where you're going to go because you've got only a certain amount of time. So, you know, you need to have a plan and, and share that plan with some loved ones, maybe family members, so that they know when to expect you to return, or maybe you should check in with them from time to time. But always bear in mind that there's going to be the possibility you're going to see a, a, a an exit ramp that's going to take you somewhere, and you're going to experience something really special. So always make time for those little detours uh, and, and enjoy the trip. <laughs> enjoy. So important there. I know that is key. And when you're driving through different states, there can sometimes be unexpected issues. Different states might have different laws, like holding the cell phone, for example. What are some tips to make sure you know what you're getting into? 
So uh, that's a great point you, you made. Uh, you know, I'd go on and check, like, for instance, if you're driving into the state of California, did you know that if you're holding a drink or, or some food in your hand when you're driving, you could be cited? So what? it's, yes, <laughs> you could get a ticket for holding a drink in your hand while you're driving in California. So please, uh, you know, make yourself aware of what the unique laws are in certain states, you know, maybe right turns on red. Are they legal in your state? Maybe they're not legal in the state you're going to. That is crazy. I know radar detectors are another one in some states. You can have some, you can't. So, wow. I never thought of that. I mean, I always have water when I'm driving. So in California, you can't even be sipping on a water bottle. Yeah. So, you know, when, when I go there, I always uh, am watchful when I get ready to take a drink of water. I, I look around to make sure that there are uh, no uh, officers of the law <laughs> looking. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, lastly, because we can talk all day. You're yeah. a ball of fun here. Uh, one final tip for a successful trip. You got one final tip. What would it be? Have fun. I mean, it. you know, road trips, when you're on a road trip, you're going to see things you would normally probably just pass by and ignore. Have okay. fun. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy experience. The moment. Yeah, experience life. Seize the day. I love that. <laughs> Count the license plate states. Add them up. Have fun. Sing along to the radio. I'm all for it. That's it. Road trip. We're going out to Las Vegas. <laughs> We're going in your car, Cheryl. We're not taking mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Burton, for, for, Thank for being a part of the show. My pleasure. No problem. Well, Cheryl, it uh, looks like we have our trips for safe travel if we're behind the wheel. But up next, we're going to slow it down a bit and explore the outdoors while on an electric bike ride. Mm. <laughs>